back to the channel guys beautiful day here in texas snowstorm's over today we're going to be doing a little showcase of my new pontiac g8 gt This would be my uh, second G8 that I've owned. Uh, while overseas, uh, I was looking for one to buy when I came home. Uh, I found one down in Florida, in Fort Myers. Uh, and I had that one, had 30,000 miles. It was one owner, super pristine car. So had that for a few years. I uh, ended up selling it just so the mileage didn't really hurt the value of the car too much. So got my money back out of it and I was able to reconstitute the money into a new one. So with my old G8, um, I was at a crossroads of uh, wanting to cam swap it and do a whole bunch of you know engine work to it. But the thing was, it was my only means of transportation. So um, I kind of bit the bullet and decided to let it go to someone who could actually take care of it, garage keep it and stuff like that. Because for me, it was just sitting outside and I didn't want to see it decay any more than it did. So uh, I don't regret the decision of selling it. Um, that one only had full, full bolt-ons, cat-back exhaust and the tune. So it wasn't nothing crazy so i got the car about two weeks ago uh, i picked it up over in tyler texas from a uh from this one gentleman uh he got the car from a speed shop down in houston uh it's called bad chad performance um he had bought in the car originally for his wife uh he went ahead and put a pretty big cam in it it's got a 639 lift or sorry 639 620 lift on a 111 lsa uh, it's, a, it's a custom grind texas speed uh, he did a basic tune on it, uh, as well as a custom three-inch exhaust. Uh, the previous owner, he went ahead, uh, he did more of the, sus the suspension and brake work. He put the CTSV Brembos on it. He went ahead, put some new JNC uh, 8.5, 9.5 in the back, 19 wheels. Uh, Petter Sport suspension. Uh, he also put the uh, Super Pro polyurethane radius arms, control arms, which is a huge upgrade for these cars, as well as the, uh, the strut mount bushing. So pretty tasteful stuff, uh, all stuff that I would have done regardless. I had actually done it on my old G8, just because they, G8 owners know that they go out at like 50,000 miles. So I'll show you guys under the hood. So this is the L76 six liter. Um, like I said before, it's cammed. Uh, it's got the stock intake. Uh, why I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it's got long tube 178s headers, pace header. Uh, I'm planning on taking those out because right now the current exhaust setup is welded to the collector on the header. Uh, so a catback can't match up to it. So I went ahead and ordered some uh, cheapo eBay long tubes. Uh, basically the same thing as the pace header. And I also just got in yesterday the Borla catback exhaust, two and a half inch with the S-Type muffler. So I had that on my old setup and it sounded pretty good. So I'm excited to see what it sounds like with the cam now. All right, go ahead and start up. Everything in the car works as it should. AC works, everything's good. So happy to know. So like I was saying before, this is the L76. This is a six liter, it's a LS based engine. Uh, basically it's a LS2 lower end with the LS3 upper end. So it's a rectangle port uh, head setup. Uh, this does have the DOD AFN delete. So it's got the LS7 lifters, hardened push rods, uh, 660 lift, Texas speed springs. Um, so everything's matched up with the new cam. Uh, it does have a 3400 stall converter. Uh, I don't think a smaller one would be any good with this cam because it's got pretty good overlap and the, the, the vacuum at idle is already pretty surgy so it's got a mean chop to it the exhaust in my opinion is a little bit too loud and too obnoxious why I went ahead and got that more like it. But it does sound good. Like I said before, 40,000 
5,000 miles, the interior is pretty good. Even the headliner is not even drooping, which is phenomenal for these cars, so. So the plans for the car in the future, basically it's just gonna be my little garage queen. Uh, just something that I can take out, have some fun, and you know, whoop some ass on the streets. Um, first order business, changing up the exhaust. Uh, little, it's way, way, way too loud. Uh, stall converter is pretty fun. I think I'll go ahead and keep that in. Um, I do need to re-bleed the brakes. I think they're a little bit too much uh, travel, but I think in the future we might go ahead and set it up for some boosts, either a factory LSA setup or even like a Magnuson setup. Uh, just not sure, but something that's going to be reliable, make constant power, and be able to maintain and not blow out the lower end. The transmission is tuned. I believe by Pat G. He's a he's a pretty renowned uh, Pontiac G8 tuner. Uh, he does remote tune, like mail tunes. Uh, I believe he's up there with Rick Crawford. I think he has one of the fastest NA G8s. I think it ran like nine seconds, ten seconds, if I recall. Maybe it was broken. I'm I'm not sure. But uh, trans tune is pretty solid for what it is. I mean, for a training with 140,000 miles, seems pretty stout. Uh, the engine was tuned from a shop down in Pasadena, Texas. Uh, just a basic 93 octane tune. Nothing over the top. I believe uh, on the dyno it put up about 420 brake horsepower. So I think some limiting factors for the engine are definitely the, the stock intake and more than likely the heads. Uh, I think with a good port job and getting a uh, getting a good intake that allows more air to go through but keeping some heat out I think that'll really benefit this motor uh, I think with this cam we could definitely see about 480 horsepower I don't see why why we couldn't so on the list for the future definitely trying to go get some uh, get some new tunes for it play around with the engine see what it likes see what it doesn't like bigger throttle body stuff like that go ahead and do a poll for you guys right now I'm gonna put it in manual mode Bring it down in the second gear. Check out that stall. But overall, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the uh, purchase. I got it for a pretty good deal, uh, considering all the mods that were already done to it. Nothing was too untasteful, and nothing was over the top enough for me to go, okay, like that's just a lot of work for me to have to undo something, but. All in all, I think it was a good deal. I'm happy. I've got my toy again because I'll be honest, having a G8, it's it's definitely a different car. It's definitely a, it's it's not it's not your typical four door sedan. It doesn't handle like one either. I'll tell you that. So definitely feel one again with the. With all right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Just short, short, and sweet overview of the Pontiac. Uh, you guys know what our aspirations for it are now, and what their future is going to hold for it. So we'll definitely have some progress updates on it and on what's going on as well as the Z28. So now we got an extra edition. So thanks for watching guys and come back next time.